This is a battery powered red light only portable lamp. It is from Mido Red Light. I currently own the Mido Red Light clip arm book lamp um, and it has three brightness settings. And I'm using this guy for astronomy. I clip it to my equipment caddy and it helps me see things at night. Um, and the red light is nice because it doesn't disrupt my night vision. So I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about $55. So in the box, we get the lamp itself, which extends up to about 18 inches total, although you typically use it kind of tilted like that, so closer to a foot high. It has a USB-C charging port, a little hole back here, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. The claim is it'll charge up in two hours. There's also a button, and so you can turn it on with a single push. This is the lowest brightness level. They have a mid-level and a high level. Um, the box claims it'll do four and a half hours of runtime at the high level and 18 hours at the lowest level. Now, since I'm using this for astronomy, I'll probably be using this at the lowest level. Um, nice thing about this is that you can set it on a table. You don't need to clip it to anything. It'll stay where it is. You can you know, move this thing around and adjust it to point what you want to look at. So I'm going to charge this guy up. We'll do a runtime test, and then I will test it out for astronomy usage. So anytime I test a device that has a USB-C port on it, I want to make sure that that can negotiate USB-C power delivery and it does correctly negotiate USB-C power delivery. It's charging at five volts at 0.8 amps. The little red light came on to indicate that it is charging. All right, this guy's fully charged. The green light is on, it's drawing zero amps. We're going to run it at the highest power setting and see how long it takes to turn off. All right, that was closer to like three hours and 40 minutes, not four and a half hours. It is completely discharged. We are going to plug it in, charge it up, and keep track of how much power it takes to do that. All right, I've zeroed out the milliamp and watt hour counters. It is drawing basically five and a half watts here. It's five volts at one amp. It took two amp hours at five volts and 10 watt hours to charge it back up. So according to the box, it has a 1.8 amp hour battery. If that's a 3.7 volt battery, that would be about 7 watt hours. So it does look like the battery is at least as big as the box specifications. It took 10 watt hours to charge it back up. All right, I've decided to redo the runtime test. Um, just because the battery was in specifications, but the runtime, like the 3 hours and 40 minutes, was significantly less than the 4.5 hours they claim. I have my astronomy gear set out here, and this is my existing clip light, which is like a, a book light, and that's the lowest setting. And that's enough for me to see the parts and grab what I need. I have two brighter settings, so that's the brightest setting on this guy. Um, and that's a little brighter than I would typically use, but it can be useful sometimes if I need to see details on something. Now this is the Mito Red desk lamp, and so you can see that at its lowest setting, it's brighter than my current clip light. Um, it's red light, it's not going to horribly hurt your night vision, but it does give you lots of light. You know, I can see basically everything here, I can read things on them. Um, so it is plenty of light, it might be too much light. You know, in, in the continuum of lights here, this is the big bright light. Um, so if you find yourself needing more than just a tiny little flashlight, but you want something that's pure red, this guy will work well for you. Now if you turn it to the top setting, it is very bright, um, for astronomy anyways. Um, you know, I can see everything on my workbench, things over on the workbench over there. So I found at night, when centering this guy, it's very useful to have a light you can hold in front of the telescope. And by holding this in front of the telescope, you can see kind of the center of the eyepiece view here. Um, and you can center that into the center of your camera. And that works pretty well. You can see I have a tiny little star right there, or caster, two stars. 
you can also adjust the Z axis and you know you can get really far away and see that hey it's centered pretty well there um, or you can move in to get more of the viewport into your camera view so having a light you can hold in front of the telescope while you're working on the back here is very useful for lining this guy up now if you're using this as just a night light or night reading light it has plenty of light you can you know put a book under here and read it at night um, you know so there's, there's plenty of light for you know that type of purpose as well I've ran this guy all the way down twice and it lasts at the brightest setting um, for about three hours and 40 minutes and it was pretty consistent you know three hours and 40 three hours and 45 both times I ran it down um, after it turns off on its own if you wait a little while you can push the button and it will turn back on for just you know three or four minutes before it goes off again so it's pretty much exhausted the battery there in about three hours and 40 minutes um, plug it back in charge it back up it takes about two amp hours at five volts 10 watt hours so the battery capacity they claim is very close to what's actually in it um, they claim a four and a half hour runtime i'm getting close to three hours and 40 minutes so the runtime on high is a little lower than they claim now for astronomy use it has this lowest power setting and at night the red light will preserve your night vision but it's still a pretty bright red light for astronomy use so i have a really small flashlight i have a bigger clip arm light um, this guy makes more light than both of those guys um, and so this is useful if you're setting something up on your bench uh, maybe taking a telescope eyepiece and putting it on a cell phone adapter where you need more light to see what's going on it's a little bit too much light for um, you know, just like finding a plug-in to plug something in, or you know, hooking a USB port up, or something like that. Um, so it's more light than I use about 80% of the time. But every so often, it's nice to have the ability to put a lot of light in an area hands-free. Now it's also useful just picking up and walking around. So as a flashlight, it works okay just holding it like this. Um, where I really have been using this and liking it a lot is when I take a telescope eyepiece and I put a cell phone adapter on it, um, a lot of times you have to adjust, you know, up, down, left, right, just to get the, the eyepiece centered perfectly on the adapter. And I found with this guy, with the light and the gooseneck length here, I can stand up and reach and put it at the front of my telescope while I'm standing near the back, um, and I can adjust the uh, three-axis eyepiece so that I can center the red light. And the red light coming in the telescope makes it super clear in my camera's viewfinder or exactly you know where that circle of the eyepiece is and so it makes centering it a lot easier than if I'm trying to deal with just a star field or something so having this on the gooseneck is really nice to reach forward and illuminate the front of your telescope while you're trying to align things at the back so that was really useful